you know, because you can't, I feel like in some ways people think like it's supposed to be practically free to build these. Like that's how much of a cost significant savings they're looking for. Like it's supposed to not cost any money at all. And that's not realistic either because as we mentioned before, if it's a single family, then it's a possibility that that unit may be the same cost as a, a stick built one. You know, it depends on the finishes in it. Multi-family is a little bit different because everything you're for that one project, you'll be buying it in bulk. And so there'll be some cost savings to it, but you still need to have a budget, guys. So anybody that's on a call, you want to do you know, community development projects, that's all well and good, but how much are you trying to spend per unit to be able to address that need? Because depending on where you are, like DC is super expensive. So, you know, affordable housing there could be $2,000 a month, whereas that would be excessive here in the South, you know? And so those are some things that I feel like more people need to think about. And I'm curious to know out of those articles, how much are the developers spending per unit? Because at some point in time, everybody who is in real estate, they're always going to be trying to recoup their expenses. And so that's when it begins to not be so affordable anymore because they done overspent to build it. And now they try to get their money back. Right. Which is not a good look and it doesn't help the community. How do you feel about that? Yeah, I think that I think that a lot of times that that makes me uh, want to shift my position in the industry to the facilitator, right? Like the liaison between um, 